numbers. He wants quality, not quantity. Many are called, but few are chosen. We're going to open this morning in prayer. I ask that you bow with me, indulge me in your, in your prayer, that all hearts and minds be clear that we focus on the purpose of our being here. Eternal God, our Father, we give you thanks, we glorify you, we magnify your holy name. We know, God, that you are God, and beside you there is no other. We come to you, Father God, because your word said if your people who are called by your name would humble themselves and pray, turn from their wicked ways, seek your face. Lord God, that you would heal our land, that you forgive our sins. And we need you this morning, Lord God. We need you, Father God, to search our hearts, to search our minds, to ensure, Father God, that as we come to you, Father God, we come to you in decency and in order. That as we come before your throne, Father God, that we come with respect. For Father God, it's not by strength nor by might, but it's by your spirit. And your spirit, Father God, changes the hearts of a king. Only you, Father God, can lift up and only you, Father God, tear down. All power comes from you. We thank you, Father God, for all that is seen this morning, Father God, all that have come. We thank you, Father God, for all that we'll hear. And we pray, Father God, that you'll stir up within us, Father God, the conviction, Father, that this day, Lord God, will be the day that the beginning of the execution of the death penalty will start. We thank you, Father God, for what you're about to do today, Lord. And we pray, Father God, that all speakers will be anointed to speak with power, with clarity, with conviction against these walls, that they will be torn down and that this mountain will be cast and removed into the sea. We pray now in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. 